Intune friends, in this video we continue, we're gonna deploy software to our Android. So in the previous video we created and enrolled into um, uh, Intune. The only thing I have done on my device outside the video is that I changed it from personal to um, corporate device. So if I click on this one, uh, ownership, I changed it to um, corporate. So Feel free to do that if you want. You just go in and change from personal to uh, corporate and apply. But it's, it's, it's not a need. Uh, so we're going to create a lot of apps and push uh, to um, our Android. To target only the Android, which is not really a requirement, I'm going to create a dynamic Azure AD group for that. So we go to groups. Then we're going to create a new group. And why I do that in the beginning of the video? It's because it takes some time for that one to sync. So then we have that already out of the way. Let's call this one GBN all Android devices and all Android devices in the GBN company. And membership is going to be dynamic device. So it's going to look if it's an Android who is enrolled, it will become automatically member of this group. Owner, that's going to be me of all million uh, workers in my company here. And the query. So this is property. What going to be? Well, we can do device OS type. So if it's equals, and I'm going to put Android, but it's actually going to be Android for work. So I'm going to do an error by purpose here because sometimes it's not so easy to understand. So we can try out this query. We want only devices who have device type equals to Android, which is false. It's not going to go any. And then uh, let's validate this rule. So add some devices that's going to run against this syntax. So this one I want to be true because it's a real Android. This is a Linux machine. This is a Mac. This is a Windows. Those three, I don't want them to say that they are equal Android. So if we run now, you see all fails. And I'm a bit disappointed because, well, I wanted this one to uh, work. So if we take the Linux one, that one said um, that we looked for this, but we got the OS type equal Linux. OK, so if we click on Android, maybe it will tell us what it wants. Yes, it says Android for work. OK, so let's go back to our little rule here and write in that for work. And oh, no space, no space, Android for work. And now if we go back and validate the rule, hey, look, so this one is going to be added to this group. Perfect. Then I click on save. So you can always validate your query. OK, so I'm creating this group. And again, I do that in order to have it already done um, uh, so it can sync. Let's see. I thought I forgot the dash. I didn't. Now let's go to the fun part. So I have my Android here. I push test push the authenticator. So that one is already been pushed outside. That was not in the video, but we're going to push a lot of stuff. So uh, I went back here. Just want to show if you do up here, you have personal. So these Intune can't see or work with, a company portal I installed, but work here, these we can uh, work with. So authenticator was push, company portal. And we can post this. So if this is your personal uh, Android and you don't want to think about work, you're on vacation, you just click here, post work apps, and uh, they disappear. But right now we want the Intune to be able to manage. OK, so as always, intune.microsoft.com. Then we go under apps. We could go all apps, but then we get to see our Windows and Mac apps and everything. So let's go Android. So here it's nearly empty. It's four that we get for free when we link uh, Google uh, Play Store, which we did in an earlier video in this area. So these are all assigned and no. If we look at them, this is a company portal, but uh, I chose my account to be in France, so I get the French name. So if we click on it, you will see that the URL to the App Store at the end have this language, fr-fr. If we wanted English, we could put en and then dash us for us English. So uh, yeah, I regret I put mine in France because I'm located in France, but now I get them in French only here. But that's fine. 
they still work the same. So you see by default, they're not assigned. So I have assigned Microsoft Authenticate there. I'll do it again, but it's not going to do anything. You even see that I got a success on my device. That was outside the video. So I'm going to do it. You have required. That's for everyone. Then you have available. Those are for those who are enrolled. Our device is enrolled or without enrollment and uninstalled. Be very, very, very careful. I have done this mistake many times. Here you can assign device like our groups. I'm going to do that now. And here we have our all uh, Android devices. I'm not sure that one is updated yet. Down here, if you by mistake would uh, say you wanted it available, means that you install it from the company portal. If you would have added this group here, it would never show up because it expect actually only user accounts. You see, you can add all users or a group, but if you had a group, be sure it's users because devices never open up company portal. It's always humans. But when it's required, then it's better that it's uh, devices. Well, you can do user groups also, both works. So just be careful for that. So um, I'll finish this one, but that's nothing. So you, you will have these four apps in English. Well, home screen is in English, so you can start to push them. You see, it says assigned no. If I do a refresh, authenticator is gonna change to yes, yeah. But that's not what we're interested in. We want our own apps. So let's click add up here. Then we have app type. So Android store app, I'll, I will not finish that one. I just go select. Then you have to point, put in the URL. So if you have a store, you can point it there. And then you have to choose minimum operating system. Currently, it just go to 11. They will probably update that since 12 and 13 are out. And you just put name publisher. You upload an image and you assign it and you're good. I'm not a big fan of that. I'm a much more bigger fan of Manage Google Play app which only works if you have a uh, linked, which we have done. You also have built-in app, I've got that to work. You have Android Enterprise System. You basically put it in the reverse DNS name. So you can put uh, com.microsoft.word, for example, but I don't see any use for that. For app, I go 100% manage Google Play app. So if we go here and select, we have to do a sort of shopping here. So we select all the apps and then we sync them. Then they come into Intune. So let's say we want Chrome. We do select. I'm going to search for a lot of stuff. Let's take Slack also. Slack, we have multiple. Yeah, let's take Slack for uh, Intune. So I select that one. Uh, what about Adobe? Oops, if I can spell Adobe Reader. Let's call that, yep, Adobe Acrobat Reader. Select that. Uh, Outlook is a nice one. Let's take that as well. Outlook, uh, why they are two different? Is that an Intune version? No, light. Okay, now I want the full one. Select. Before we hit sync, very important. Uh, we Do we want something more on this device? Um, do we have something funny? Uh, Team viewer. Well, let's go back here and see what was what do they uh, propose. Uh, editor's choice. What's popular? Evernote. VLC. Well, let's take VLC. So we take pretty many apps. Okay, so now I have selected all those. Now when I click sync, it's gonna take me back here and you're a little bit like, okay, that's nice. Is that all? Well, we have to wait a bit and refresh and they're gonna show up here and uh, take a little time. So it's syncing in the background. So I'm gonna hit the refresh here and there they are. So let's say some of these apps we want required and some we will install. So let's say, some that we want everyone to have. Let's say that we want to have Adobe Acrobat Reader. Uh, did I mention that the built-in, you can't delete them, but those that we just synced here, we can delete. Adobe Reader, let's push that. So we go properties. All this we get for free. And you see, I have again this French. Even if I do edit here, I can't change that. It looks like, hey, you can maybe edit. No, you can just copy. But okay, that, that's, that's fine. 
let's assignment we can definitely change so I, I said I wanted everyone to have it right, so I'm going to assign that to my groups with all my Android devices, all one, but if I add more, they're going to be dynamically added to that. Thanks for our cool query. Uh, so this one is done. If You see it always says no when you come back. You have to do a little refresh. Oh, you need to do a little refresh. There, three times. Yes, no, not three times. You have to wait a bit longer, yes. Chrome, let's make that uh, in the store. So that means we have to uh, go from company portal and then uh, install it. So we make it available. Uh, our device is enrolled. So I'm going to be, we have to use users here. So either one of these should work. Let's do it for enrolled because mine is enrolled. So that's on user level, very important because it's so easy to do the mistake to use the group for everything. So Chrome, rapide et sécurité. Rapide means fast in French and you can guess what sécurité means. Sécurité. Um, let's say Outlook. Let's say Outlook should have, everyone should have that. So we do edit here under assignment. Let's add our group. I mean, it's no danger to target a Windows machine. It will not show up for them. I think it's nice to have a group for that, for only Android devices. Perfect. So now go Outlook, then Slack and VLC. Let's force Slack on all devices also. So we assignment edit. Let's add a group. And let's do DBN Android devices, pretty repetitive. And the last one, that was VLC, right? Let's make that uh, in company portal. So it's for users to install if they want. So available without, well, we can take one with or without enrollment, but R is with. And now I said all users for that one, yes and save. Okay, that went fairly quick. So now we have, uh, if I refresh here, all that should be yes, not VLC yet. Let's wait three more seconds, there it goes. So we want all these, a few of these we will have to install manually. So let's see if it already started. Uh, not yet. So what we can do is to, oh, some stuff have come already I see here and it changed my order. I definitely didn't want to open the authenticator. Uh, so we got Adobe Acrobat uh, Reader already installed. Excellent. If we go here and look in the console, it's not ready yet to say that it's been installed, but that's good. So uh, we got that installed. I wanted to go to Company Portal and help it to do a little sync also. Signing in. Icon up there. So let's go settings. Oh, it looks like it's coming more uh, apps here. So I'm doing a sync. It might take a few minutes. It's not really needed. So far we have only Adobe Acrobat, okay. I wanted to see if our apps are showing up. So there are two ways. Either you go get apps or you click here, open, and you can open the Google Play. Well, it will go to the same place. So basically, I want to see if the two apps that we put there, probably not, we put what? We put Chrome and VLC. Have they already shown up here? They have. Okay. Then let's install, let's say we want Google Chrome. So we just click here and install. We get it. And let's say we want VLC as well. Let's install that also. So it's probably pending because the other one is running, right? So yeah, oh, it says both are installing. So, so far, what do we have left? So VLC. Uh, Chrome, Adobe Reader. We are waiting for Outlook only, I think, and Slack, Outlook and Slack. When we see them coming in, then we know we have the success. Now it's going here. Ah, pending. So 
and they have a lot of things running for it. Let's see if I can minimize this one. Here, up, oh, still only a, oh, here comes more stuff. Uh, so here comes Slack is coming next and uh, Outlook is being installed and we see VLC. We should see uh, Chrome is already here. So I guess it might not show up that way. It should show up, uh, no, nope, not in work. It should be under the work profile though. So you see, it's going uh, pretty fast. It's not that difficult to deploy um, software on an Android phone. And again, the sweet part is they got this little suitcase, so it's under the work profile. So imagine you're on vacation, you look your work email and everything, you get uh, messages and email and everything, and you don't want, you just close uh, your work profile and you still have your um, normal phone. And that's true for, well, I go there while this is running. I spoke a bit about that in another video. I think it could be worth to be repeated though. So enrollment, we have these four enterprise. So I enrolled mine with a personal own device with work profile. Then I changed it to corporate one, but this have the work profile. Corporate own device with work profile that also have it, but if you enrolled with a corporate owned fully managed users device, you don't have that. Then you have only work stuff on it. And these were uh, kiosk just for, you know, a scanner or entering data on the Android device or so. So anyhow, let's go back to apps. Let's go back under Android. Uh, do you think we already got the result here? I don't think so. Oh. It says install pending, but we all already know that it's success. So Intune is always a few minutes behind. Uh, we see that Chrome got in, VLC got in. We are waiting on Slack. Okay, so now all got installed. It's gonna take a little longer time before uh, <laughs> Intune knows this. It knows that Adobe Reader have been installed successfully. So that it trusts. I think Outlook, I'm not sure it have reported back success there. Now it still think that it's still installing, but we clearly seen it there. So it's gonna it's gonna update. But yeah, it takes a little time. You see it first here. So we have installed all the software. And if we go to our work profile, we see Adobe Acrobat, we see Chrome, we see uh, uh, what else, Outlook and Slack and VLC. So well done, that's what we wanted. So these apps have been installed and we could just add more and add so people can install what they want. I just wanted, it's outside of um, Intune and I'm definitely not an Android guy, I'm an iPhone guy, but for example, you're on vacation and you don't want to get all this stuff. You just post a work app and uh, now they are all gone. Well, gone, they are hidden. So here, company poll is, is visible because I actually installed that on my personal Android here in order to enroll and then so these won't notify i can't start them they're not usable in order to get them to work i have to go to my work profile and turn on work apps and then they're gonna be back so again intune can only work with this app who have this uh, work uh, folder uh, this uh, briefcase so it's only those that um, it can uh, work and uh, manage so uh, it's pretty cool uh, uh, setup for that. I wish they had that for uh, more OS. I think Apple is coming with it or already have it, but they haven't promoted it so much yet. So that's how you deploy apps on Android devices with Intune. Thank you very much. Have a great day. See you in the next video.